Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the left, and today we're back with some more Starfield, and last time we ended up here at the den to sell off our ill-gotten gains. But now we need to return to Aquila to return the slate to Alex. Get it decrypted. So let's get into it. Shoop. Okay. There we are. Come on then, Lemon Pest, let's uh, rock and roll, buckaroo. We've got things Be to do. You run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled system. I know. Oh, back in Aquila. Fresh air. And not much else. <laughs> Fresh air and Ashta, usually. Good grief. Excuse me. Looks like yep. you got another off Yeah, you've got another off worlder. Good grief. Oh. Roland Arms. We might have to pay them a visit after. I'm fine, thank you. Alright. <clears throat> up we go, up we go. Uh, Alex. Is this Hello. A lot of famous people visit Kilo. Do they? You never know who you'll meet. Who knew? Famous people like Aquila. Well, all right, up here. Here we are. Hey there, deputy. Hello. You seem very happy to see us. Oh, Terra Brew. I mean, okay. Alex, here Nobody we go. She says I spent too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Probably. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. Tell me about How it. How do you like the job so far? Uh, hmm. It does feel kind of good to be out there making a difference, I suppose. That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? I have another slate. Here you go, hotshot. Well, well, what do we have here? Another slate. Well, this is new. Hmm. Oh. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. All right. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Yes, but so do I. That's the thing. So, hmm. So we've got to find another slate. Fishy business, what? Oh, a job at Xeno Fresh, really? Ah, yes. Should we go to the Red Mile? What do you reckon, Lemon Pest? Red Mile? I f I'm feeling New it. New deputy, huh? Honor to have you. You are awfully keen on 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 Mr. Eddie, are you not? There you go. Can't say I blame her. Look at this beautiful Tip boy. You're probably looking for Mary. No. Nope. All right. So autumn, 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 Macmillan. There she is. Thinking of having another go with the red mire. Maybe, maybe, may. I'm just um on official business. All right. I'm really not in the mood. Well, that's a little rude. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Madam, I'm neither wide-eyed nor clueless. We'll find out, won't we? Mm. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Well, I mean... Yeah. Lose the attitude. We're working together, and that's that. At least you've got a little backbone. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, <clears throat> she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Well, lead the way, great wise one. Good lord, so bloody rude. All right, let's go. Follow me. You need to lose the attitude, madam. I tell you. I've killed better for a lot less, you know. Bloody hell, you believe this lemon pest? So rude. Could just do it, couldn't I? Could just do it. Seen you run. Not bad. Yeah. You have a ways to go if you want to beat my record. Mm. Ah, you said to be alone. 
Yeah, well, things changed. Yeah. Take a seat. Then I will take a seat. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Um, I'm a good friend of Autumn. She was thrilled to see me. Wait, Autumn has friends? Like hell. The deputy <laughs> here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Um, hmm. Every hunter needs prey. Guess they're just handing out badges to anyone these days. <laughs> I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. All right. Difference is her crew stays out of Free Star Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. I see. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah, competition's good for business. You need to rise above the challenge. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. I see. The good news is, I know how to find him. Okay. But you're not going to tell us yet, because you want something. Oh, God. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. <clears throat> well, hmm. I can be very persuasive. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. Well, I mean, oh. Hell, I'm up for it. Screw it. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy. I've done it because once. this is life and death we're talking about. God. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? Oh, now you care. Now you care, do you? Take on the mile, huh? All right. Let's just put this away. Put Sorry, this away. Good, because I didn't bloody ask for one. May, here we go. May. All are welcome at the Red Mile. We don't ask too many questions. I'm looking for Marco Graziani. I understand you two are acquainted. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. Well, what is your business with him? Exactly. I want to work for him. It's no small favor that you're asking. No. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. You've run the Red Mile and survived. Yep. Show me that you can do it again. I had a feeling you were going to ask me to do this. Good. That means you've prepared yourself for what lies ahead. Yep. As before, I'll collect wagers from our patrons who will bet on your survival. Can I bet on myself? I'm afraid not. Ugh. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. Well, God bless it. All right, well, I'll definitely be coming back alive. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Excuse me. Well, all right. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Go on, mate. 
You'll find yourself on the other side of an airlock with our helmet. Oh, shut up. Yes. You're about as intimidating as a chocolate frog. Good grief. It can get rowdy in here sometimes, but we try to keep things simple. Well, good. Pleasure to have you. Here we go. Introduction. Here we are. Look at this. Maybe we should... Have we got our suit? Our suit, yes. That's fine. Your attention, please! It is. Let's take it. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Then I'll run pages once again at hand! <laughs> yes. A runner has returned to challenge the Can you get out of shot? Yep. The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower. See distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Great. Now, runner, and see if you can survive the mile. Woo! All right. Well, uh, thanks, folks. See you later. Good God. Good luck, really. Oh. Hello? Huh. Well, that works, doesn't it? Bloody hell. Okay. Red Mile Maulers. Ugh. Awful things. Absolutely awful. I can we? Ooh. Okay. We've already scanned them all. There's 100%, but that's fine. Anything else in here? D hmm, there's one there. It's the only problem with this. There's not really that many shots in it. It's pretty good, though. Good God. Okay. Let's continue onwards, Lemon Pest. This should be an easy run, really. Well, I hope so, anyway. We've... We've already done this once. Okay. Ow! Jeez, Louise! Lemon Pest, you're supposed to be watching my six, man! I mean, you are pretty lethal with that minigun, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of, kind of useful. But, just, um... Keep your eyes on the prize. Okay, so it's up this way. Ooh, yeah, gross. Okay, gassy, gassy. All right, are there any more of these? E okay, there's more of these Egypts. Oh, nice and easy. Come on. I wonder what the um why is oh is the gravity quite uh, strong here? Ooh. Oh hello. Hey now There, yeah, it's dead. What I might try out while we're here. Just just you know. This this thing that um Keone gave us. It's not bad. I think we'll possibly do with some upgrades, but well, let's see what else have I got here. Yeah. Okay. Well, Oof. as well gather up the resources because they are useful, despite these things being absolutely ugly. Ugh, look at it. Ugh, gross. Kind of like a weird-looking rhino thing. Weird. Okay, we don't need to loot anything else, because we already looted it last time. Just going straight for it. Straight for the peak. The temptation to check for loot is unbelievable, but I know I've already looted it. Oh. 
can you just not? No one's interested. Not today. I have better things to do with my time, you know? Did, why is the snow red? What's going on there? Okay, this is... Ooh, let's go this way. Avoid the gas. There. Is there anything in this? No. Okay, alright. Bloody hell. Alright, alright. Bloody hell. You did, Lemon Pest. Well done, mate. He is lethal with that thing. Bloody hell. But you know what? You're useful, aren't you, brother? You're very useful. Iron, hey. Take the iron. I like the iron. So, can I get up this way? It's a little long. Can I? Okay, what, 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 what the hell? What the hell is that doing? What? Hello? Just, just, just walk away from it. Whoa, why, why are the trees all? What the hell's going on with the tree? Oh, okay. Do you know what? Do you know what? That's fine. Oh, Jesus! You know, Lemon Pest, we could have done this such a better way. They did. They did. Um, okay, where... Where are they? Uh, oh, over there. Okay. There we are. One shot left in this. Uh, okay. Don't mind me, Lemon Pest. I'm just, um, you know, taking care of things. I'm coming back down. All right. Okay. Good God. Well, we're being okay. Gassed out. That's small. Bloody hell! Can we not? Ouch! Are you out of bullets or something? I think Lemon Pest is out of bullets. Okay, jeez. Do you know what? I'll, 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 I can sort it out. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, nothing in here. Okay, come on. Well, let's get up here. Get okay, gassed out, smogged, smogged to death. Okay. Oh, Ooh. okay. Die a hole. Right, lemon pest, come here. Let's have a look. I'm in the mood for a mocha macchiato. Ooh. How about you? Sounds nice. Okay, let's have a look. Of course. What have you got? I'm always happy to help. What have you got that you, you, well, you currently, the refined micro gun, so it takes 7.77 mil. Do you not have any? No, you, oh no. No, you do. Why the hell are you not using it then, you weirdo? Why are you being weird? Did you just fancy punching it or something? I don't know. Strange, strange man. Okay. All right. Let's head back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thankfully, we're not in a bad sitch here. Because both myself, myself and Lemon Pest have done this before and know what to expect. Can I actually hit that from here? What the actual hell? Go away! Ow! Jeez Louise! Alright, do you know what? What 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 have we got here? Hmm. Uh hmm. Head Ranger? Ooh. 
Last breath, that's what I was using before. Okay, let's let's switch back to last breath. And um yeah. Okay, it's not loaded. God bless it, that's annoying. Ah. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Um yep, okay. Take 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 all. Take all that. Jeez Louise! Right in my face! All up in my grill. Christ. Alright. Le Lemon Pest, are you around? <coughs> oh god, now I'm gassed out with bloody lung damage. Ow. Ugh. Gassed, smogged, abused. Can we just have a day where you don't mither me? Okay, Lemon Pest has figured out how to use his, his weapon again. Good God. Okay. Are you alright? To you and all. It is, actually. Well, kind of. You know. It would be better if we could just, you know, go back and have a warm-up and not have to deal with this garbage. But, well, never mind. You know what? Let's just go. Oh god, really? Yeah. Just to save ourselves the bother. Lemon pest, any time now. There you go. You figured it out. Oh, what is their thing? Why are they so aggressive? Crying out loud. Bloody hell. We didn't even do anything. We were just here. Oh this way. Of course it's this way. What's that? Lithium! Hey! Hello, lithium. No, what did... Good grief. Oh! Really? Really? Can we just... Please... Oh my god. Oh god, what? You really have saved my bacon there, Lemon Pest. He is good. This is the thing. A lot of people don't like him because he's weird. But he saved me bacon, so. Alright. Can we have. Uh, 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 just an easy trip back now, please. Kind of had enough of this affair. What is that? A forest wisp. A wisp. <sighs> okay. My god. Hot off. Good grief. L what? Okay. I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to know. Okay. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, crying out loud. Really? There we are. Oh, okay. At least we're getting plenty of those glands and stuff. I suppose it'll probably come in useful for something, won't it? Broadleaf. Scan that. Why not? I remember the getting back being a little bit easier last time. What? Ugh, there we go. Oh, the gravity. The gravity is the killer as well. Can I please just get up? 
Good God. All right. Hmm. Is there anything up this side? Or on top of this? Thing? I'm kind of, kind of curious now. Distraction Avenue, but still curiosity as well. There is nothing. Well, what a waste of time. Okay, Lemon Pest, are you there? There we go. He'll catch up. Well, that was completely the devil's work. <sighs> uh, excuse me. You alright, lemon pest? There's a lot of noise. What the hell's all the noise? Okay. Hello, I've returned. Okay. Oh, put my weapon away, mate. Well, that is. Congratulations, runner. Once again, you've succeeded where most have failed. Thank you very much. To challenge the mile more than once and live to tell the tale is rare indeed. Hmm. Well, I did what you asked. Now it's your turn. Indeed you have, mm. and in most impressive fashion. Always, always. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Yeah, all right. Autumn, good news. It's oh. really simple out there on the red mile. I um, survived. So you here I am. Yeah. Me. You're back. Are you... Okay. Oh, you care. You give a damn. Who knew? Well, um, it was kind of fun, I suppose. And here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Well, all right. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. Ooh. I'm glad because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Yes, well. Did I do something to offend you? I doubt no, it. No, it's but... not that. I had a, a bad experience with another deputy that I was training. I'll tell you all about it after this is over, okay? So you need to stay alive or you'll never hear the story. Well, all right. I mean, you really were kind of rude, Mum. Yeah, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Just got me at a bad time. Now let's move on. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Okay. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. Hmm. Yes, well, that might be an idea. What is that noise? What, what, what? Look at that. You've still got on your limbs. I don't know if it was brave or There's... stupid, but at least you survived. Do you know what? Hey. I don't need to know. Don't need to know at all. All right, May. It's a weird looking chair for this office. It doesn't fit in. But well, all right. Time for me to keep my promise, runner. Yep. You can find Marco on Kodos, Kodos. aboard his ship. Okay. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Well, hmm. What else can you tell me about him? He's intelligent, well connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. I see. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. All right. Um. 
Then I'll be heading for Kodos. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. I'm sure. I'm sure you will be as well. I think she likes me, Lemon Pest. Okay. Well done. Hello. Maybe we should take a room. Sleep. Uh, I need a room. Hey, lucky you. We happen to have a vacancy. Grand. So, how long are you thinking of staying? Oh, only a, only a day. Okay. Just I'm giving rest. you the room at the end of the hall. It's got the best view of the Red Mile Run. Okay. All right. Let's mosey on up. We know where it is. I'm still very curious about. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, this was a little um, interesting, wasn't it? Hmm. Maybe we'll get Go to find ahead, out more. Some trouble. Give me an excuse to air you out. <sighs> Madam, don't tempt me. <sighs> Honestly, it's so bloody rude. Lemon Pest, come on. Get in here. Come on, you Egypt. Lemon Pest, what are you doing? Get in there. Go on, in. Oh, goodness me. Well, never mind. We'll, we'll... What does he do? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Oh, it's nice to take the load off. Good grief. But we will leave it there for today, folks. Next time, we'll head to Kodos and find Marco and see just precisely what he has to say for himself. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look out.